Do you know there are over 270 Excel keyboard shortcuts? It's a lot, and I'm not going to cover them all in this video. Instead, I'm going to focus on sharing the most useful ones for both Windows and Mac users to supercharge your Excel skills. However, if you're eager to learn even more shortcuts, stick around until the end of the video where I'll reveal an excellent resource to help you master them all. First up, navigating through your data quickly, press Control along with an arrow key to jump to the edges of your data region, like this. And to select data fast, use Control Shift with an arrow key. It selects everything up to the edge of your data, and it's a great time saver for copying or formatting large data sets. Bonus tip for selecting all your data is just with one cell selected, Control A will select the whole table. A related bonus tip for Control A is it also works to select all the objects. For example, with one chart selected, with Control A, then out all selected. And this works with any objects, including shapes and images, etc. It's super handy when you want to apply formatting to them all at once. For example, now I can set the size the same and then align them in the middle and evenly distribute them. Job done. To turn your data into a table, press Control T. My data has headers, so I'll click OK. Now tables offer enhanced data management. For example, when referencing tables in formulas, the ranges dynamically update as new data is added, as you can see. And this means no formula maintenance. When your data is formatted in a table, you can insert new rows with Control and the plus key. A new row appears instantly, ready for your data. And I should point out that if you're using the plus key that shares the equals key, you'll also need to press Shift. To delete a row, it's just as easy. Use Control and the minus key, and it's gone. If you're looking for something specific, Control F brings up the Find dialog box, and this is a real time saver in large spreadsheets. For quick replacements, Control H opens the Find and Replace dialog box, and it's a lifesaver for making bulk changes. For example, here I can replace a datum with datum, and just like that, it's all replaced. I can jump to a specific cell with Control G. Simply enter the cell reference that you want, and it's a quick way to navigate large sheets. A bonus tip is the last cell you referenced automatically gets populated in the GoTo dialog box. So to jump back, simply press Enter. To bold your text, hit Control B. Similarly, Control I italicizes your text. And for underlining, it's Control U. And it's that simple to draw attention to your information. Now don't waste time adding spaces to force line breaks in headers. Instead, place your cursor where you want the break and then Alt Enter. Just make sure you have wrap text applied to the cell. If you've made a mistake, Control Z undoes your last action. And to redo an action, it's Control Y or the F4 key, which I prefer. And we should all know that copying data is a breeze with Control C and to paste is Control V. But for more paste options, Control Alt V opens Paste Special. And this is great for pasting values, formulas, formats, and more. Alternatively, 365 users can use the new keyboard shortcut to paste values, which is Control Shift V. To copy data down, use Control D. Or to copy across to the right, Control R. We can add a hyperlink with Control K. And this is useful for linking to other locations in the workbook or external resources. For cell formatting, Control 1 brings up the format options. This is a gateway to customizing your data's appearance. Bonus tip, this works with objects as well, like shapes and charts. To keep a row or column visible, use Alt W F F to freeze panes. And this is essential for working in large data sets. We can also make large worksheets easier to handle by quickly hiding columns with Control-0. And we can hide rows with Control-9. 365 users can now scroll horizontally with the mouse by holding Control and Shift while scrolling the mouse wheel. And this is super helpful when working with wide worksheets. If you need to insert a function, Shift F3 brings up the Insert Function dialog box. And this is a quick way to search for and insert functions without having to memorize them. 
For quick summation, we can use Alt equals. Excel automatically sums the numbers in adjacent cells, saving you time. We can switch between absolute and relative references. Just press F4. It cycles through the different reference types for your formulas. We can quickly save a copy of the file with the F12 key. And this opens the original and much loved Save As dialog box. By the way, this shortcut works in all Office apps. We can display the underlying formulas in the cells with Control and Backtick. And now you can easily see which cells contain formulas. And this is handy when working with files you're not familiar with. To revert, simply press Control and Backtick again. Now, if you want to improve your productivity even more, check out the link in the description below to access a free guide with an extensive list of 239 Excel shortcuts. And watch this video next to learn how ChatGPT can save you hours of work in Excel. I'll see you in the next video.